Um, don't know how well that's uh, clear, but uh, you can probably see up there there's these like bits of fruit, like oranges and apples and what have you. Jugosa manzana que me habla de amores, as Zarzuela puts it. It's uh, very nice that there's some like, I can't tell what, what all the fruits are, but they're like almost tutti frutti kind of sweets. and. You've got this arrangement of a triangle made of circles, which I can't help but wonder whether that's a little bit Babylonian or Masonic or whatever. Here, I've got a green man again. Um, this thinks I'm moving. Um, that doesn't really tell you much, that transept. So I think I've gone around all of it that I need to. I'll go back onto the grid again. Um, yes, it's very nice, isn't it? It's very nice, I have to say. This is about the Barcelona of Gaudi, a, a gift shop. And I should probably get something to take home. Whether my wife would be particularly happy with some of these frogs and things. She wants, she definitely likes fridge magnets. And there are some Gaudi based fridge magnets here which look really worth having. We do collect fridge magnets. There's also a so got a familiar based one, they're probably quite expensive, but that's okay, because we see them every day. And something which is hopefully not too breakable would be good to get from here. So I got a total of <coughs> three fridge magnets there. I think we just see, oh you can't already can't see really the, uh, the remainder of the uh, Sagrada Familia. I've got three fridge magnets, <coughs> so that's probably my record. Um, some people going up obviously in the direction of the uh, cathedral there. Um, yeah. Fridge, uh, those three, three fridge magnets basically came to <coughs> the total. They were about 15 euros, which is not, <coughs> not cheap as I <coughs> as I suggested, but they, some of them were quite functional. There's one that's actually a, doubles as a bottle opener, <coughs> and they're all certainly very, very pretty in that sense. So uh, they'll be good for our collection um, of fridge magnets. Oops, I'm on the point where it's flashing a little bit, so that's all right. Lots of people around. Ah, no, 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 yo tengo. So, uh, offering me Libara. I took a Libara in London, it didn't work at all. I'm not get, getting caught on that one again. Rubbish. Postcards, I don't really use postcards. Especially there's hardly any post offices around that, anymore that enables you to enable you to post them sometimes you can end up buying them and never posting them and anyway I prefer to make my own photos that's one thing and uh, post them up for everybody to see in one way or another and postcards are all right but I don't know somehow I I got onto these more modern things, maybe a bit more than the uh, than those the postcards. They're still there. They're for people of a certain style, but uh, I'm quite happy to stick to mine. So we went due south from there, which is not necessarily the best thing to do. But uh, we're back on the deal now. I think yeah, I haven't either or Abinguda, depending on what you're speaking. I think Abinguda is Catalan. Whether they pronounce a V as a B in Catalan is something I haven't bothered to find out, but you're welcome to add it to the comments below. <coughs> Now's the chance to get a bit of sun on the old face, I suppose. That's really quite broad at this point as well, isn't it? 
and I will go on that part and do one of those I don't know, I've always got to keep my, hat, my, my eye on the time a little bit because I did say, didn't I, that 2.30 was the time I needed to be back at the... Well, maybe the correct way to walk is really this way then, rather than that way. That looks tempting to actually go over there, but... Well, I don't know, maybe since I'm interested I should go then, maybe, and then curtail some other parts. I'll have to end up getting on a bus anyway. But I wanted to do that one left, right, left, right business until I got to the Rambla. Then go up a bit of the Rambla until it comes to back to the Diagonal. And then catch the Diagonal bus to 34, 33, 34 back again. Of course to be catching the bus I'd need to be on that side of the Diagonal but that's not the way to see the Rambla. So I've got green, I better make, make a move. This is broad here, the, very broad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lanes wide. The, 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 you know, at this point, that's still a little bit extra over on this side as well. That's one of the widest streets you'll see inside the city. It's three, three lanes wide here. Coming the other way. Whew. Well, the problem with Barcelona is that whenever you go anywhere you see something you want to get a closer look at. And in this case, it's those Fabergé eggs that some Gaudi character or his, or his protégé is stuck on the top of that building there. It looks a bit mosky. It looks like one of those Uzbek Central Asian style mosques, you know, like the Samarkand idea. The, they tend to look like light blue a lot in Uzbekistan, but there's other places in Central Asia they tend to do that sort of thing. And I just need to look now and have a look and see what that is, and then go. towards Rambla. When I get on the Rambla itself, I like to just film walking up it a bit. And I'm just concerned that there's never time to do everything that I want to do and I don't want to leave no buffer at all. If I was going to leave a healthy buffer, I'd actually start moving quickly back to the hotel just as soon as I've done this rather than be doing anything else but you know sometimes things are just too tempting oh I thought it was coming at me okay see if I knew what this transport system is I'd probably be able to take the subway and get to the hotel a lot quicker but never mind doesn't matter. Now oh, there's that that building that looks like the mayor's cucumber, the gherkin or whatever, in London. Well, that's an interesting small vehicle there, that orange thing in the middle there. What's that going to take off like? Got two Chinese looking folk in it. Go car, rent me. Who is driving? The, the lady. Rent me next to San Catarina Market. Oh dear, that, you've got to be brave to get in that in that traffic. 
Anyway, here we are. There's this oh, nice sea breeze picking up there. That's a nice view too, isn't it? So, what it really is, it's still not really Carrera de la, de la Marina is what it says it is, but what that actually is in terms of whether it's actually a mosque or whether it's something else like that, I still can't see. Um, it's a bit unfortunate. Desfortuna, desfortunadamente. Yeah. But I'll think I'll do a, a photo of it anyway, even though I don't really know what it is. Sombra? Is it saying something like Sobra or Sombra? It appears to be written there. Sombra. Seems to be written down there. Okay. I'll be some photographs of true before.
that's the way the cycle paths are actually marked by the way and sometimes they're separate as well crossing the road. It just occurred to me that because of the Stars of David there that could even be a synagogue rather than but it says Ma Ma Museo Ta Taurino I don't know if that means it's a bullfighting museum like a bullfighting arena there that wouldn't be very nice. Thankfully in Catalonia they gave up with the bullfighting they didn't do it anymore. Um, I think in Portugal they have a version where they well, they provoke the animal but don't kill it. Um, there's parts of Spain where they run with the bulls and there's parts, still parts of Spain where they have the old traditional bull fight. Of course, if people took the European Union seriously, then these things would have stopped. But where it's necessary to take the European Union seriously, nobody takes it seriously. And where it's necessary to take the European Union and not take it particularly seriously, you'll all find, always find one country, the United Kingdom, of course, which does take it seriously and applies all its silly laws religiously. Um, well, what can you do in that situation but retire from it? So uh, I'll retire, pull back my camera just to, from the too strong focus. The remaining thing to do before going back is to do a bit of rambler, but how close that is from here, whether it's going to actually be possible in the time allotted is another question. So, uh, I probably should have taken a bit more dosh. Oh, that's a nice little dog. From that bank machine, if, if I see another one, I'll do it. Always have to factor in the fact that you're always standing waiting for, for these crossroads for the cars to go by. Although it's quite common to go when you can see it's clear. Most people don't do it, but what are they going to do, arrest all their tourists? Novartis seems to be in force there. So, uh, there's Kersh, an old client of mine, when I was in BDO. A nice, nicely laid out stall of legumbres. Very nice. So, uh, and a Lidl. Will a Lidl? Oh, I always do that, I won't do it. I was going to do the Olivia Newton-John song pun. There's Kawasaki, including cascos and guantes, helmets and gloves. There's a telebanco here, maybe I'll take this opportunity to uh, pull out just 20 euros to be on the safe side I think is all I need just for a taxi. I don't think I need anything more than that and I'll always use it in the future. Just hope I don't get one of those funny bank machines. Yeah.